You and Eleanor seem close. She's taken care of me ever since I was little. I never really knew my mom, but she's always been there for me. What does she think about you going away to school? She's thrilled. <laughs> I think she just wants me to end up happy. That's really sweet. She's the most selfless person I know. I know having you work with her in the shop has meant the world. Yeah. To both of us. Yeah, about Eleanor though, you should probably know she's sick. That fight Mac had with Gabe over your secret meetings. They were about you applying to college, right? Yeah. Ever since the first time Mac lost his shit in front of them, Gabe and Charlotte had tried to get me to end things with him. And after all this, I can see that they were right. Do you think he's telling the truth about the call? That Gabe never made it? No, I... I it's not that... I... She's sorry. hesitant. She doesn't know. I'm really not ready to talk about it. But... He's acting weird. Yeah. I get it. It's just... If he didn't do anything wrong, why is he acting like he has something to hide? Uh -huh. Right out of words, right out of her mind mouth. He asked me to leave Haven with him. What? Right after the wake. He wouldn't tell me why. But he just looked so guilty. I told him no. And that we were done. And now... I'm scared. He did something horrible. Riley, thank you for telling me. You deserve the truth. I know you and Gabe were close. How are you doing? I miss him. So much. He was like an older brother to me. I'm glad he had you. Thank you, Alex. Really. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. Some secret operatives stuff. Uh, and that is like at least the Xbox One we'll version. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Whenever you want. Mac trying to skip town is sketchy as shit. Hmm. I bet I could use that to stoke his fear. Yeah, I think you guys have probably noticed, but the Xbox One version of Life is Strange True Colors has some little edging problems around the screen and everything, some flashes of light, some blockiness, uh, some like, it's a weird rendering. It's a, it's a, like a weird rendering problem when something's off screen and then suddenly becomes on screen. It kind of like deforms and pixelates and, you know, see the, the black blocks and all that been noticing that since the first episode so it's not the capture card it's literally just how the game is kind of going <laughs> it's like i don't know what's going on with the game but it's weird oh i want to well then see if he has the same uh thing <laughs> he's still yep he still fell in the same way <laughs> The guy that had the voice act that did wonderful. 
it's just absolutely 10 out of 10. <laughs> I should make sure there's nothing else I want to do before I confront Mac. Ah, point of no return. <laughs> I think I cleared out everything. Thanks to the patient. Thanks to the update. Okay, cool. Alright, you dipstick. What Riley told me might do it, but I should make sure there isn't anything I still want to do around town first. Well, I don't think we can do the LARP yet. She's not right. She's not ready. So, LARPing, stuff like that, we're good. Ready. Okay, let's do this. Your ex-girlfriend told me about your plans to skip town. That's not something innocent people do. Oh God, it's not. I didn't do anything. <sighs> Fuck off! <sighs> Leave me alone. It was affecting her heart. Who the fuck? What's going on? Something weird's going on. Oh, is this like in his head? Or is Typhoon? Fawn actually have an interest in her. Fuck. I'll deal with Mac when I get to him. For now, I need to learn everything I can. Or is he paranoid about Typhon? Typhon's always watching. They run this whole town. I saw Mac run down that alley. Not yet. Guess we need to go over here. Mac feels like everyone's staring at him. So he's paranoid. Everyone thinks I killed him. They all hate me. Killed by a loser. Ouch. It's not fair. It's not fair. I didn't do anything wrong. Some type of hush money. It should have been you instead. Alex? Oh, whoa, whoa. See, th contemplating Yo, suicide? What the hell? There are people out there. No, I told you to call it off. I saw the way they looked at me at the wake. They all think I let him die. Yeah, we might have to help this guy. Typhon's forcing you to deny the call. What the fuck? Did we get that correct? I know you tried to stop it. They fucked up, not you. Stop lying for them! You don't get it. This wasn't some accident. I told them you were down there, and they detonated anyway. On purpose? Why? I don't know. I swear. And then I get a message telling me to deny there was ever a call. Why would they do that on purpose if they you knew people were going to die? What was the purpose? 
We didn't get along, but I, I didn't want him dead. And now, now Typhon's watching me. I mean, my girlfriend, she, she thinks I'm a murderer. My neighbors all hate me. I mean, what, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Is he having heart problems? I think I can calm him down, but does he deserve it? Everyone doesn't need... Everyone... No one deserves to go what the fuck he's going through, man. That, that sounds fucking rough. Yeah, it's calm. To, you gotta help everyone out. No matter how a douchebag they are, you gotta help them. All right, Mac. Live by your brother's example. You gotta calm down, okay? Dude, stay with me. I know what it's like to be doubted. To have everyone think the worst of you. But the truth will come out. I'll make sure of it. But Typhon... If Typhon comes after you, they're gonna have to get through me too, okay? Looks like we're gonna have some corporate issues in the future. <laughs> God, just... Same amount of stress and shit. A little better. <laughs> yeah, well, you learn a thing or two hanging out with shrinks your whole life. <laughs> so, what are you gonna do now? Don't leave Haven. I'm gonna get to the truth. Do not commit suicide. <laughs> Because that imagery of him hanging, yeah, that's uh, foreboding. I don't know if that meant he was thinking about hanging himself, or he thinks Typhon's going to do it. Either way, it's going to suck. But I think if we didn't calm him down and we kept it and let it worse, he probably would have done something bad. So I think we did the right thing. Hey. He probably saved a life. <laughs> yeah, it's... Can we talk? Where are you? Who should she call? Okay. Who did she call? I like how we just only hear her side and not the other side. Who the fuck did she call? Going out into the woods. Oh, okay. That's who she called. I think. Are you sure it's safe to be down here? You were right. About Typhon, about Mac. Alex. Mac got the call. How do you know that? He got the call and he lied about it. Doesn't matter. Someone is putting pressure on him to keep quiet. Someone from the mine and- It doesn't matter. I keep coming here and playing it back. But it always ends the same. Ryan. He's dead. He's really dead, Alex. Let's see if we can help him.
think I'm alone now. It was my fault. My job is to keep people safe. And I failed. Oh, is he trying to live up to his father? You saved Ethan. That kid is alive right now because of you. She's wrong. I let her cross that log. I put Gabe in harm's way. I'm not a hero. I'm a coward. Worse than worthless. I know what it's like to feel worthless and helpless. But we saved Ethan. And you saved me. It doesn't matter. Gabe's dead. Because of me. Gabe, I'm so sorry. There's only one person holding you responsible for this, Ryan. You need to forgive yourself. <laughs> You're not alone. I think her power needs to be in therapy. She, oh, she could be the town therapist. Yo, there's her jump. <laughs> Whoa, hold on. <laughs> there's a guy in a gorilla suit? <laughs> Does he also jump off of the cliff and into the pool? No, no, he chases a guy in a banana suit. <laughs> that guy jumps off the cliff and into the pool. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. This is a Mexican restaurant? Eh, nominally. <laughs> oh, I think I know what they're talking the food about. Is, uh, Casablanca. But it's Gabe's favorite place. Well, not Casablanca. Uh, <laughs> I tell you, he's the Cas oldest Ca they know. Ca Castle Benita, I think it's called. Can I ask you something? Of course. You came up here to tell me that I was right about Mac. About him getting the call? How did you know? There's something you should know about me. And it's gonna be easier to show you than to explain it. How do you show it? This is gonna seem sort of weird at first, then really weird. Do you trust me? Think of something. Some something infuriating. Okay. Think of something that makes you so angry, you just want to scream. You really focus until you feel it. I solved that issue. <laughs> Don't know. The wasted potential. You're angry for me for Ethan and Charlotte, for everyone who had their futures with Gabe stolen. Wish you could have been there with us. There was no one in the world more fun to be around. <laughs> Man, this one time. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what the fuck? That's new. <laughs> Thank you.
Is that joy? Enlightenment? Whatever it is you're thinking about right now, don't stop, okay? Keep going. Okay. <laughs> what emotion is this? Some type of enlightenment. <laughs> or he's high. <laughs> Must be a good memory. I wonder if I can piece it together. Oh, we're going to do cloud shit. <laughs> Gabe, Goose. I see it. It'll move. It's not moving. <laughs> It'll move. Gabe! <laughs> you don't swerve the car for small animals. Or any animal. That's a lot of blood, huh? Gabe, oh, they hit the goose. That's serious. Killing a Canadian goose is a oh, violation shit. of international law. Last up. Doubt. It is not. They're Canadian geese, Gabe. Property of the crown. The, the crown of... Property of the crown, Gabe. What do we do? They're gonna have to bury the goose. <laughs> oh, shit. That's the joke. They buried a goose. How deep you think? Deeper than that. The Royal Canadian <laughs> Mounted Police can spot a goose grave at a hundred paces. <laughs> the Mounties? <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. How long were you going to let me dig? <laughs> I wasn't going to stop you. <laughs> so was you played a trick on him. <laughs> Did you... Finish burying the goose or not? <laughs> okay, also, property of the crown? <laughs> really? <laughs> well, they are technically protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. <laughs> How's he not freaking the fuck out right now about her? <laughs> I would be freaking the fuck out. Uh, How? So, I guess I have this power. I can see other people's emotions. They show up like an aura, and if I get too close, I, I feel what they feel. As if I was feeling it myself. And when I focus, I can even understand why they're feeling it. And that's what you just did with... with me? Whew. Some kind of power. No kidding. It's... it's only ever been the bad emotions before, but... That, that was pure joy. Who else knows? Was my brother. Gabe did. But now I guess just you. And that's how I know Max terrified of Typhon. He reported Gabe's call, and they ignored it. Now they're putting pressure on him to toe the line. Okay, but... why? I don't know yet. 
someone made the decision to let the blast go off. I see. We need to talk to the executive lady. Seems or like whatever her job is who would be a good start. Friend of uh. So, you're going after Typhon. Yeah. Guess so. You'll need help. Sounds good. You don't have to. You're stuck with me now. I have a feeling there are two potential love interests in the game. <laughs> Quick on a draw, hug. Welcome. I'm gonna be. A, I'm gonna be a hugger. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Thank you. No. Thank you. Yeah, because I think, if I'm correct, yeah, in, in the original Life is Strange, you had, you could have two love interests. I think, before the storm, I think there was only one. Yeah, I think there was only one. And there is kind of a love interest in two. I don't know how many if there are any options, but I know there's one. Cause we, I think we did it during our playthrough. So, you know, kind of following the formula of Life is Strange, they're, they're going to try and give you a couple options if you want a romantic interest. Because it's almost like it's mandatory with games like this now have them <laughs> Rocky Mountain Record Traders established in 1968 This one's for you, Gabe. I miss you. Uh, since we don't have any music playing, we'll play our own music. Song song track, by the way, just to give credit, is Nebraska by Trevelyan. Shout out to Trevelyan for making the music. I didn't speak this morning. I couldn't. Hearing everyone talk about him, about the life he had here with all of you. I lost the chance to have that. But even though I only had one day with him, he changed my life. I said, I didn't know if I belonged here. told me that home isn't something you find. It's something you build. I love you, Gabe. I 
I'll shut up now. Up uh, there's our suspect, the lady. I knew it. She's our next target. She's nervous about something. <laughs> 